Well, John said after your final performance of Across the Universe that it was magical, transcendent, heavenly. How were you feeling after you completed both of your live performances tonight? Oh my goodness. I was feeling so amazing. So relieved, honestly. I was like, whoa, okay, that's done. Whatever happens, happens, you know? And um, I'm just proud of myself for putting it all out there and leaving it all out there. So I'm feeling really good. The last person on Team Legend. I'm curious how that changed your perspective this week and, and what it's been like for you. Being the last one on Team Legend, um, how did it change my perspective? I mean, yeah, it's just me and John at this point. So honestly, it was pretty cool. I got a lot of like special attention and special time with John, which was super fun. And wanting, I really wanted to like do my teammates proud who came, who've been with me since the very beginning. And I'm the last one standing. So I'm proud of it. And um, I'm doing it for them. <laughs> How, how, tell me about how all the emotions went when you guys sat in front of that TV and you got to talk to family and friends and how did that impact your performance tonight? Oh, wow. I mean, it just getting to see everybody back home and really realizing what's at stake here and who I'm doing it for and who's been there for me since the very beginning, it brings up a lot of emotions. And I, um, I really tried to channel that in my performance tonight, especially in the ballad um, across the universe is such a, you know, special song to me. And I was introduced to the Beatles by my parents. So it was really meant a lot to me to be able to see them on that little TV, just wishing me the best and uh, cheering me on. When you think back to your earliest musical influences, and I know your mom was a pianist, but what, what do you remember most about the music you listened to growing up and how it may have inspired you today? Well, my favorite band of all time and the first band that I became obsessed with was the Beatles. And so I got to sing a Beatles song tonight for my finale, which meant so much to me. I I don't think I know anybody's discography as well as I know the Beatles. I know practically every song on every single album. So um, it definitely had a huge influence on me in my upbringing and as I grew. Um, so it meant a, a great deal for me to be able to sing that song tonight finale tomorrow you're going into a place where you're singing but not having to actually actively compete what are you most looking forward to getting to kind of showcase your talent in that way and not having to worry about winning votes or kind of winning over your coaches I mean it's just going to be a blast that's kind of how I felt tonight a little bit obviously the stakes are really high right now because it's the finale and people are voting for the winner tonight but I feel like I've already won, to be honest. So I just really wanted to go out there tonight and have a blast. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll know that the answer, the winner is already in the books. And um, I'll have, yeah, I'll just get to go up there and like sing with my coach, sing with my friends and just have a blast. So I'm really looking forward to it. What did, did, what did your coach say to you tonight that stood out that gave you the inspiration to get on, on that stage and do your performance? Uh, you mean before the show? Yes. Uh, he told me to break the leg, go out there and be yourself, girl. And I was like, all right, I'll do just that. And then John always has those little things to say. Like, he just knows exactly who I am and knows exactly what I need to hear at that time. So he just said, go out there and be yourself, break the leg.